So that's two boxes of Torkus Kurvidens Pinodulosus for egg laying. I wonder whether we see something here. The boxes have been in a cellar with temperatures that are pretty cool. Here's see a mushroom growing out of the piece of wood. This seems very fresh here from the traces of a larva or something like this. Let's see where they find something. Oh, here's also the male. Look, still living. That's something wonderful about Torkus Corvidens. They are really long living, beautiful animals. Look at this beautiful male here. Torkus Corvidens Pinodulosus. A real nice male here. Let's hope that the female was happy also to it's Anna, that's a beautiful a beautiful pickle jelly with banana. I smell it until you mmm smells good, I wanna eat it too now. But this is a hard uh, piece of white rotten uh, beech wood. So it could be that they have laid some eggs here too. And if so, I have some kimchi boxes here where I can put the larvae. So now let's see whether we find something. It looks good. The, the material is complete. Look at this. If you go here, you can just, it's only the outside of the big block of beech wood that is still intact but the, all the inner side is chewed up, chewed up either by the larva or by the female on the way to lay some eggs but this looks really like the larvas have been in here so let's have a look where do we find some there's a nice block of wood also Now of course this this work looking for larvae of Turkus sometimes it's a very, very hard job because the wood they like to eat is sometimes pretty oh look this is beautiful a nice big larva in the middle now let's see whether we can show it as I said already, it's sometimes quite difficult to take them out because they like to stay in the place where the wood is pretty hard. Also, this is very bad if you find so many worms, they try to come into a pupal chamber or what and, and try to kill the pupa and then of course to eat the this, this things that she was living in. So probably it's a good idea to take the lava that is too many worms in this substrate here and as I said look at the larva here another one down here yeah Dorcus curvidens I mean this male that we see here is pretty pretty beautiful I have one more here look they are all in the same So that's interesting to see, look, this is the place where they stayed together in this kind of, of holes. They have drilled practically some holes into this uh, oak piece of oak wood and in each of these holes one of these larvas uh, was sitting. So this of course was the bigger hole for the bigger larva here. And the other ones here for the smaller one, this is one here, and the other one was there. So they sometimes really they seemed like to that they would work in groups also, as I can, as you can see here, very nice. So let's go on looking for more of them. Sometimes it can also be that they are living just a small piece of this wood but this is completely 
Um, infested with this earth wall, that's not a good idea, so I think we have to take re out really all of them before the worms destroy all the larvae here or or later on all the pupas. So this material seems completely chewed up, it's only a pulverized uh, wood material, that comes from the larvae of Torcus. But why we find only three of them until now, let's see whether we find some more here. So it would be nice that we have some more than only three. Uh, there should be more because look, the material is so completely chewed up. So or could be that the earthworms killed the larvae in here. That could be another possibility. So I don't see a sign of a of more larvae than these three. And of course, could be that some are in here, but. To find out whether they are, this is a really hard job because you have to break up this piece of wood and that's what I'm do not doing now. What I'm doing now is checking the other box uh, that I have, uh, see whether we find more larvae in there because this is not enough for, for these traces of to the material here, I think we should find more uh, larvae than only the three that we find here. So the other box is here. Also we have a look what we find. First we have a look from the top here. That's it. Uh, do we see traces of larval frass here? Not that much. Huh? If you compare it to the other box where you have seen that it's completely pulverized material, let's see what we find here. I mean, you can guess where they are. So they must be in here somewhere, in this piece of, of wood. But also here we find uh, these earthworms and that's never really a good sign. Here you don't see so clear signs of of uh, larvae. Let's turn it up. Also, I don't see a trace of a female here. Also, not in the other box. So, the main thing would be to have a look in this hard wood piece here because if we find something then in this piece of wood but this as I said is a real hard job to open it without destroying the pupa or larva that can be here in here but we can follow some of the traces Here, I'll probably be fine. Oh, what's that? Is that the work of a female or of a larva? And what is this here? This is also traces of Torcus curvidens, or what do they do in here? I don't see it exactly. 
They wrote it from beach, that's what we can see here. Oh, look, this is nice. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> so this is a pretty nice view. Dorcus curvidens spinodulosus. In the chamber already, you actually probably would pupate now to become a nice, be beautiful, big adult. And that's a real typical situation for Dorcus curvidens. Go to the hardest piece of wood that you can find in the middle of the substrate and pupate there. Also what could be, there's some people saying that they are cannibalistic also. The larvae that sometimes they eat their colleagues that are living with them inside the material. I wouldn't say that this larva is cannibalistic, but uh, could be that's uh, one of the possibilities to explain why there are not so many larvas in this substrate. Because I, I think should be there should be more than only this one solo larva in here. I think also she already tries to prepare the chamber for pupation here in the middle of this block and also if you compare it to a big to a male here you can see that it probably not it will be a very big animal but a, a nice one compared to this big and nice male here but let's go a little bit more through the blocks could be that we are lucky and find even more than this only one Laura although it looks the piece looks big enough for that but as I said this is really hard to break open sometimes pieces of wood without destroying the animals that can be in here already but it's interesting that we find traces in here but but we don't find so many larvae. Why is that? I can't explain it. They completely packed the channels that they did with material probably to prevent uh, worms to come in here and destroy their the pupil chambers that they build at last. Oh, let's see whether we find one more in here. Yeah, look, what's that? That's a female. <laughs> but it's difficult to say whether it's the female of this male here or it's already a new female. Oh, we will find out. We will put them Oops, we will put them into a new substrate where they probably can lay some more eggs because they have laid eggs otherwise we wouldn't find a big larva like this in the substrate but we have no sign of a male here so I don't know where the male is and of course don't throw away all these pieces of what could be that this another another uh, animal in here, male or female, or that there are some more larvas in here? But I don't see anything, so it doesn't look like there is some more. Female and male of Torcus corvidens. The male is probably already a little bit old here, but the female. It's very active, it's crawling around now. Even though I give her this beautiful beetle jelly. So we have to prepare a new breeding box for them. That's what we do. But of course change the material because of these earthworms that are active here. And first of all put them 
in a box, in a smaller box where they can mate again. And so that's what I do. I put them not in a big box, but I make a smaller box like this where they can hide under some pieces of white rotten wood, dive down if they like and can mate again. And in the meantime we will prepare another box for them. And for the for this one, for the lorries, I get two boxes of kimchi. So here they are. One box I prepare for the big for the big larva here. So that's what I'm doing. This is kimchi from Pleurotus flamingo. Stramineus Salmoneus Stramineus is the real name and I just put this nice larva in here so it can dive down and hopefully eat some more of this nice stuff of kimchi and then pupate to become a big Male. I think this should be a male because the size of the larva is really good. And the other three larvas in this piece of wood I place into the other kimchi box here. This one. Uh, for these three I think you can put them all together in one box without having to be afraid that they eat each other here. Oh, that's it. And now we have to be very paying attention that we don't that we don't add worms in here. This is one here. Now we have to take them out again. That's what they don't like really. Two here and the third one here. So, and of course we can have a look also if there are some more, but this is, as I said, really hard to open wood blocks like this. Sometimes it's better to wait. Look, here I am very ha happy that I didn't, I really killed this larva here, you see that? It's just sitting here, so I cannot... I can hardly open the the place where she is because she's really hidden in here. And now if I'm very very careful I can probably put her out without destroying her. That's the problem with Dorcus Curvidens. They sit so packed in the substrate you, c you hardly can take them out here. But now I get it and now I put it also into this box. And now remember, these pieces don't throw them away, just put them somewhere where they're a bit safe from this earth swarm. Let's go in everywhere, so uh, be careful not to. And here, I really am, I'm too old to open this. <laughs> So that's it from Torcus Curvidens, Pino Dulosus, they are diving down now here in the substrate, four here, one here, a nice male and female, waiting probably for more eggs to be laid, thanks for watching.